Hello everyone, today we're gonna be looking back um, to my uh, TI-994A uh, uh, but today we have a mission, we have to test the famous speech synthesizer um, for this particular model which actually has a problem, has been sent to me in order to be checked and uh, repaired if needed uh, so I plugged the um, um, the synthesizer. I have the TI Extended Basic ready um, to try it because it is needed, and uh, a game that uses um, speech um, uh, capability uh, from the um, speech synthesizer in order to test it. Um, again, based on the um, cable that I fixed the other day presented on the previous video um, I will try to to see what is going wrong um, check the game uh, this one let me shut it down and this one is Parsec of course because uh, Parsec is using uh, the speech synthesizer if you have it installed and then we should try to um, write uh, some code in order to produce um, speech um, using the um, extended basic and see what happens um, for the time being we have this empty screen and it was even worse it was uh, a black screen in the beginning but I ha somehow twisted um, the connection uh, I mean the box around the connection and now at least we have the classic and well-known uh, blue screen coming up but without the logo which should have been there in the first place. Now the expansion port on the very right of the machine uh, could support um, a lot of peripherals one after the other uh, and the most popular ones were, were the memory and the speech synthesizer which actually has a couple of ROMs inside and uh, they hold a limited vocabulary but it is good enough for starters um, and the uh, pronunciation uh, was quite good uh, for back then uh, 1979 um, it also gives us the ability to uh, put another peripheral on the side and that's the way it used to be back then a chain of uh, peripherals on the side using one single expansion port I really hope it's gonna be uh, easy um, as easy as possible so I'm going to put some alcohol on this cotton tab and try to um, clean the contacts in case something is um, happening with the dust and dirt for the last um, 40 years or more um, so I'm gonna do this thoroughly uh, one by one not just drag it around but uh, not not like just like this but uh, putting in a bit inside, clean the contacts, make sure they are clean and shiny um, and then you have of course to check that there is no cotton uh, particles left inside or around the area, right? Um, I can already see it's a bit, well, kind of dirty which is um, normal I'm gonna do this with the other side, that will be enough just make sure um, the contacts are making contact that's but that's the purpose that's the idea right so I'm gonna do just that and I'm gonna do this repeat the process um, on the uh, expansion port on the room, uh, side of the machine exactly the same process and uh, yeah we'll see what happens oh yeah and one last thing to mention is there's a hood there is a some space you can uh, open the hood and underneath supposedly you could have uh, cartridges in order to uh, make um, the vocabulary richer and better but um, as far as I know they didn't make it um, uh, they didn't do uh, well out in the markets so I wish I could have a cartridge like this to test it but uh, I guess they are very rare and this is uh, stuck, yeah I think it's stuck 
um, the expansion port comes on the other side so you can put other peripherals right there what well it's stuck really stuck I need to fix it now in order to um, have the speech um, capability uh, to write our own program uh, for our own greetings or whatever we want to make the TI say uh, we need to have the extended basic um, cartridge inserted the um, TI standard basic which comes embedded inside the machine cannot uh, support the call say function the say function and here you can see that the we are okay with the cleaning of the uh, slots uh, the machine boots normally so we did that right it was an easy fix but now let's go select number two for TI extended basic and we can check whether the computer can say just uh, let's say hello so we have to um, call say what actually calls the say um, function and uh, the variable will be um, let's say the word or hello in this case and see what happens uh, if we can get it right I don't know about the sound guys it's gonna be kind of noisy or I don't know if it's gonna be okay but I'll try to record it right and uh, write hello and uh, let it speak and uh, yeah double L man right okay and then we have our expression ready um, little program one just one line and run it sorry about the noise guys but uh, the TV volume is really really high so sorry for that now we should try a bigger expression now one thing you have to remember is within the brackets um, the text uh, to be pronounced has to be in capital letters um, not um, lowercase in any case um, it, w it won't work uh, so let's say if um, Well, yes, he made it. That's fine. That's brilliant. Okay, let's hear it over some uh, game now and mm, see how this works. Sorry again about the volume level, guys, but uh, that was it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be catching you soon with another video, I believe. Um, consider subscribing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, let's keep having fun with the stuff uh, we used to have as kids. And um, we played around and had fun back then.